Welcome to Coviva Windbreak. Firstly, in this video, we will identify the parts and their names. Secondly, it will show how to set up the various windbreak sections. Thirdly, there will be a demonstration of how to connect all the sections to each other. Coviva Windbreak Parts Ground Peg Static Gate Stop Top Joint Nylon Peg Strap Velcro Strap Single ground plate Double ground plate Gate pole Horizontal pole Upright end pole Upright T-Pole Upright Corner Pole Gate Spike Single Support Pole Double Support Pole Gate fabric Two panel fabric Three panel fabric How to set up each section To set up the constant use gate section Lay out the gate fabric. Take the upright end pole and thread it into the right side loop. Thread the two gate poles through the top and bottom loop. Insert the gate spike to the structure. Secure the gate fabric and use the Velcro tabs to remove any slack observed. The constant use gate section is now complete. To set up the static gate section, lay out the gate fabric. Take the upright end pole and thread it into the right side loop. Thread the two gate poles through the top and bottom loop. Add the upright end pole to the structure. Secure the gate fabric and use the Velcro tabs to remove any slack observed. The constant use gate section is now complete. To set up the two panel section, lay out the two panel fabric. Take the upright end pole through the right side. Thread the two horizontal poles through the top and bottom loop. Take the upright T-pole and thread it between two panels. Next, take the two horizontal poles and thread them in the top and bottom loop. Add the upright end pole to the structure. Secure the two-panel fabric using the plastic buckle to remove any slack. The two-panel section is now complete. 
To set up the three panel section, lay out the three panel fabric. Take the upright end pole and thread it into the right side. Thread the two horizontal poles through the top and bottom loop. Take the upright T pole and thread it between two panels. The other two horizontal poles need to thread into the top and bottom loop. Add the upright T pole to the structure. Take the last two horizontal poles and thread them in the top and bottom loop. Add the other upright end pole to the structure. Secure the three panel fabric using the plastic buckle to remove any slack. The three panel section is ready. If your windbreak includes a corner section instead of the upright T pole, add the upright corner pole in the required place. Depending where you add the upright corner pole, the section will change shape. How to connect the section? Example, the 12 meter windbreak. Lay out the sections on the floor. Place the double ground plate where the sections join each other. Position the single ground plate to correspond with the T or corner pole. Lift one section at a time and insert the ground pins into the upright poles. Add the double pin support pole where two sections connect. Add the single pin support pole on the top of the T pole. Continue to lift the sections and add the support poles. Connect the top joint at the corners. Connect the static gate stop at the bottom of the constant use gate. Secure the support poles and the static gate stop to the ground using the ground pegs. Using the nylon strap, secure the sections with the ground plates. Use the ground pegs to secure everything to the ground. Secure the top of the support poles to the section using the Velcro straps.
Thank you for watching the video. If you need further information, please refer to the instruction included in the package. www.coviva.co.uk